Wall Street charged ahead on Thursday, with the S&P 500 hitting another record closing high on increasing optimism about Federal Reserve rate cuts this year. The Dow gained more than three-tenths of a percent, while the S&P 500 climbed one percent and the Nasdaq surged one and a half percent. On day two of his Capitol Hill testimony, Fed Chair Jerome Powell told the Senate committee that the central bank is nearly confident that inflation will decline to its 2 percent annual target. Thomas Martin is senior portfolio manager at Globalt Investments. So the sentiment today is mostly Powell's uh, testimony uh, before Congress, um, both yesterday and then the Senate today. Uh, and his comments, which were uh, really more reassuring that the uh, rate cuts were going to happen this year. Uh, and I think that there had been some question as to his resolve on that. Investors piled into chip stocks, with the Philadelphia Semiconductor Index outperforming the broader market to finish up 3.4 percent at a record closing high. AI chip darling NVIDIA gained 4.5 percent. Also powering the Nasdaq, Meta Platforms, which gained more than 3 percent. In other company news, shares of lingerie retailer Victoria's Secret plunged nearly 30 percent on a weak annual forecast. And Kroger shares rallied roughly 10 percent after the grocer forecast annual sales and profit above Wall Street estimates. Friday brings the Labor Department's key non-farm payrolls report, which should offer further clues on the direction of Fed policy. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.